Goedemiddag dames en heren, hartelijk welkom bij die tweede speciale doctorale gradeplechtigheid van de Universiteit Stellenbosch. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to the second special doctoral graduation ceremony. Ik zal nu aan die kandidaten, wat aan mij voorgesteld wordt, die de onderscheiden doktersgraden verleen. I will now confer on the candidates who have presented to me the respective doctoral degrees. Meneer de kanselier, ik verzoek u om die graad dokter in die wijsbegeerte aan die kandidaten wat ik aan u voorstel te verleen. Die betrokken promotor zal telkens een kort verklaring over die proefschrift doen. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer on the candidates whom I present to you the degree Doctor of Philosophy. The supervisor concerned will give a brief outline of the dissertation. Eric Old Dada Andriantiana. Um, with Supervisor Professor Stefan Wagner. Mr. Chancellor. Graphs provide useful models of molecules and invariants, such as the graph energy, help us to relate the structures of molecules to their physical properties. In his thesis, Eric Anbiantiana determines extremal structures maximizing or minimizing different graph invariants in various graph classes, thereby solving some decade-old problems in chemical graph theory. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree, Mr. Eric Uldada Anbiantiana. Lee Boardman with Supervisor Professor John de Blanche. Mr. Chancellor, understanding the mechanisms of low temperature tolerance and determining the conditions from which cellular damage may be repaired or is irreversible is critical to understanding insect pest control. This work has generated fundamental insights into inter insect biochemistry and physiological responses to low temperatures and modified gas conditions. These results ensure ongoing and improved pest management. I request you to confer the degree on Lee Borden. Hester Maria Burger met Professor met promoter Professor Wenzel Gelderblom. Hester. Mechanistic and human immunological studies investigations were integrated to investigate the mycotoxin risk analysis framework within the South African context. The disruptive effects of carcinogenic mycotoxin for monosin B1 on the membrane integrity was studied, mycotoxin exposure assessed, and a unique sensitive risk assessment model developed for diverse ethnic and vulnerable population. I request that you confer the degree on Esther Maria Berger.
Brit Ingrid Drogemuller with Supervisor Professor Louise Varney. Mr. Chancellor, the antipsychotic treatment of schizophrenia is effective in only approximately 50% of patients. Therefore, this project aimed to identify genetic mutations that cause non-optimal treatment response. Examination of DNA from schizophrenia patients identified genetic variants that were associated with treatment response outcomes. These data should aid in improving antipsychotic treatments. I request you to confer the degree on Brett Drogemoller. Shelley Edwards, Professor Lafras Mouton, will deliver the commendatio on behalf of the supervisor. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, the candidate investigated how lacerated lizards are adapted to, to their environments. She combined different lines of evidence, including data on genetics, morphology, and performance. She found that in this group, morphology is dictated by habitat, whereby species living in similar habitats display similar morphological adaptations, irrespective of ancestry. I request you to confer the degree on Shelley Edwards. Johann Josef Eicher with Supervisor Professor Johann Röver. Mr. Chancellor, Johann Eicher has explored the regulation of central carbon metabolism in the bacterium Escherichia coli. He developed a novel method to determine enzyme kinetics from NMR time courses and applied this to construct a mathematical model of E. coli fermentative glycolysis. He then explored carbon flux and redox balancing changes under conditions of oxygen, oxygen limitation and variability. I request you to confer the degree on Johann Josef Eicher. Theodore Gesswind met promoter Professor Klaus Koch. Mr. Vice Chancellor, the complex chemistry of rhodium in hydrochloric acid makes the selective and quantitative rhodium recovery by precipitation a difficult challenge. An important finding of this study was that the chemical speciation of these complexes in solution is critical in determining the recovery of this precious metal. A method for chemical speciation of rhodium in acidic solutions using 103 rhodium nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy led to the world's first direct chemical speciation distribution diagram for rhodium complexes in such solutions. I request you to confer the degree on Theodorus Kiswint.
Johandi Goldenhuis met promoter Dr. Catherine de Villiers Chen. Mr. Chancellor, to date, a lack of accurate structural information has precluded understanding how quinoline antimalarials inhibit malaria pigment formation. Ms. Hildenhase's thesis describes the long sought after single crystal structures of ferriheme drug complexes as well as that of synthetic malaria pigment. This seminal insight is likely to aid future rational antimalarial design. I request you to confer the degree on your handy Hildenhais. Ilna Grobler met promoter Professor Len Barber. Mr. Chancellor, porous crystalline metal organic materials were prepared with a view to studying the solid state dynamics of gas sorption and guest exchange processes. Structural information about the host gas interactions that are responsible for selective carbon dioxide capture and other gas or vapor sorption properties was obtained from single crystal X ray diffraction experiments. I request you to confer the degree on Ilna Krobler. Stanton, Bevan, Ernest, Hector. Um, Professor Paul, yes. we've had a replacement of the person who is going to be reading the comment show, so it's Professor Full Hills. So Dr. Full Hills? Paul Hills. Paul Hills. He will read the comment com show. Mr. Chancellor. Stanton Hector has isolated and characterized the gene encoding the enzyme catalyzing the epimerization of UDP glucose into UDP galactose. The first committed step in, sorry, in galactan synthesis providing the precursors for the polymerization into agar and other galactans. This will help to enable us to manufacture agar in bioreactors. I request you to confer the degree on Stanton Hector. Kathithi Leni, Martha Kaleli, with Supervisor Professor Andre de Villiers. Mr. Chancellor, phenolic analysis represents one of the major challenges in natural product chemistry. This study investigated multidimensional analytical techniques for improved phenolic analysis. Combining two dimensional liquid chromatographic separation with selective and powerful detection methods provided complementary information allowing a more detailed investigation of phenolic compounds in complex natural products. I request you to confer the degree on Kathithileni Martha Kalili. Isaac Alder Kotze met promoted Professor Klaus Koch.
Mr. Chancellor. A series of new water-soluble platinum complexes were prepared, some of which are significantly more active as potential anti-malaria drugs in vitro than chloroquine. The pronounced tendencies of these molecules to aggregate in water, ranging from simple one-to-one -one aggregates to large nanostructured clusters, loosely termed metallogels in the literature, have been studied in detail by advanced nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy methods. This has led to insights into the potential mode of action. I request that you confer the degree on Itzhak Adelbert Kotze. Renate Louise Lamprecht met promoter Professor Johan Burger. Meneer de Kanselier, grapevine family virus is one of the most widespread, widespread and devastating viruses infecting grapevine. In this study, the genome sequences of two new grapevine fan leaf isolates were determined and screening of local vineyards also led to the discovery and subsequent characterization of two grapevine fan leaf virus RNA satellites, one of which was subsequently converted to an expression and a silencing vector for grapevine functional genomic studies. Ik verzoek u om die graad aan Renate Lambrecht toe te ken. Tandeka Hunati Makwebeba with Supervisor Professor Wenzel Gelderblom. Tandeka. But extracts of rooibos and honeybos inhibit the growth of skin cancer cells by disrupting the energy producing mechanisms via free radical polyphenol ion interactions. It put extracts that also enhance the removal of UVB damaged cells, thereby preventing inflammation and cancer promotion. These properties will be used to develop biomarkers for skin cancer prevention. But I request that you will but to confer the degree to Tandeka Unati Makobeba. Joel Polis Mira, Professor Paul Popke will deliver the commendation on behalf of the supervisor. Mr. Chancellor, the role played by quasi-elastic and inelastic breakup was studied using carbon-12 and oxygen-16 ion beams at a lab energy of 14 to 35 MeV per nucleon to evaluate the, vali the validity of two Monte Carlo code simulation codes, Fluca and GN4. New cross-sections for production of intermediate mass fragments relevant to carbon-12 hadron therapy were measured. I request you to confer the degree on Joel Paulus Mira. Natasha Palesa Motapo with Supervisor Professor Teresa Vosler. Mr. Chancellor, carbohydrate resource availability within the Feinbos, coupled with the lack of competition from native ant species, are facilitating the spread of the invasive Argentine ant in this environment. 
the negative impacts this ant species has on both the ground foraging ants and floral visitors highlights the threat of Argentine ants to this biodiversity hotspot. I request you to confer the degree on Natasha Peleso Motapo. Walter Musakwa with Supervisor Professor Adrian van Niekerk. Mr. Chancellor, data on land use transformations due to rapid urbanization is often out of date, unreliable, expensive, or in some cases, unavailable. This inhibits the capacity of local authorities to carry out sustainable urban land use planning. Mr. Musakwa investigated the value of earth observation data and satellite imagery for monitoring sustainable urban land use and demonstrated how it can be employed to support local authorities in their decision making. I request you to confer the degree on Walter Musakwa. Linke Portgitter met pr promoter Professor Jan van Vuren. Mr. Chancellor, Linke Portgitter has developed a mathematical model for optimizing a birth control measure aimed at eradicating Aldana saccharina walker, a pest moth species in sugarcane, minimizing both the damage caused by infestation and the cost of applying the measure. The results have important applications in modeling species with four life stages and in applying the sterile insect technique in an economically viable manner. I request that you confer the degree on Linker Portrito. Kathleen Maria Simone Elise Reskins with Supervisor Professor Fadil Esop. Mr. Chancellor, although antiretroviral treatment successfully treats HIV AIDS, there are long-term side effects. Kathleen Reskins established a unique rat model of chronic antiretroviral treatment focusing on protease inhibitors. Protease inhibitor treatment decreased heart function and triggered several metabolic alterations. Thus, the distinct cardiometabolic side effects of antiretroviral treatment raises the question of appropriate co-therapies for HIV-positive individuals. I request you to confer the degree on Kathleen Maria Simone Elise Baskins. Bjorn Philip von der Heyden with Supervisor Professor Arkendra Roy Chowdhury. Mr. Chancellor, the candidate for the first time in the world has devised a novel synchrotron based spectroscopic method to determine the speciation of iron in marine nanoparticles. His results bring about a paradigm shift now to include the role of iron particles and not just dissolved iron to understand the lack of productivity in otherwise nutrient-rich Southern Ocean. 
I request you to confer the degree on Bjorn von Trajeden. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer on Leonard James Barber the degree Doctor of Science. The supervisor, Professor Catherine Esterhazen, will give a brief, brief outline of the dissertation. Mr. Chancellor, research spanning approximately 20 years has focused on unraveling unusual phenomena in the crystalline solid state. The serendipitous discovery of transient porosity, that is, the diffusion of small guest molecules through a seemingly non-porous solid matrix, led to further discoveries encompassing anomalous thermal expansion, self-inclusion, polar ordering, and prioritized selectivity. I request you to confer the degree on Leonard James Barber. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confirm the candidates whom I'll present to you the degree Doctor of Philosophy. The supervisor concerned will give a brief outline of the dissertation. Ulanya Amos Fawoli with Supervisor Professor Linus Opara. Mr. Chancellor, the students studied the pomegranate fruit and discovered that the storage optimum period and condition is 5 degrees centigrade, more than 90% relative humidity, 8 to 12 weeks storage period. However, he also discovered that pomegranate cultivars divide significantly in terms of their optimal storage performance based on their maturity indices. I request you to confer the degree on Mr. Olani Emos Fawale. Daniel Allen Jacobson with Supervisor Professor Milani Vivier. Mr. Chancellor, in this study, computational biology tools were used to explore the biological and com chemical complexity of winemaking in order to understand the biology of grapevine and wine yeast, as well as wine aging at a molecular level. This was achieved with the use of network theory based models and multivariate statistics. I request you to confer the degree on Daniel Allen Jacobson. <clears throat> Sydney Mavengama with Supervisor Dr. Willem de Klerk. Mr. Chancellor, indigenous vegetables are shown to be an important source of food in the maize-based subsistence uh, farming sector of rural South Africa. They are consumed as a relish, although none are cultivated and rather gathered from homesteads in the wild. The study focused on domestication and enhancing nutritional value through fertilizer and manure applications. I request you to confer the degree on Sydney Marvin Gama. Michiel Karl Reinecke with Supervisor, Professor Karen Isler. Mr. Chancellor, 
The study explored how riparian plants are distributed along riverbanks and how river flow influences their distribution, growth and reproduction. Understanding links between river flow and riparian plants is uh, really important and it's used to inform restoration strategies and to mitigate impacts of water resource developments on rivers. I request you to confer the degree on Michiel Karl Reinecke. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer on Lembe Samukelo Magwaza the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Agriculture. The supervisor, Professor Linus Opara, will give a brief outline of the dissertation. Mr. Chancellor, this study showed that variations in microclimate between seasons and within three canopy affect the biochemical profile of citrus skin which in turn influences fruit response to post harvest stresses associated with susceptibility to rind disorder. Novel non-destructive sensor technologies were successfully applied to sort fruit by external and internal quality. I request you to confer the degree on Mr. Lembe Samukelo Magwaza. Meneer die kanselier, ek versoek jy om die graad dokter in die wijsbegeerte aan die kandidaten wat ek aan die voorstel te verleen. Die betrokken promotor sal telkens een kort verklaring oor die proefskrif doen. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer on the candidates whom I will present to you with the degree Doctor of Philosophy. The supervisor concerned will keep a brief outline of a dissertation. Martinez Johannes Boysen met promotor Professor Gert-Jan van der Rooyen. Mr. Councillor, a cornerstone of good communication is the ability to listen and be sensitive to those around us. In the near future, vehicles will communicate with each other to prevent road deaths. This work introduces the concept of multi-hop neighbor awareness to the field of vehicular communication, which significantly improves the transfer of information between vehicles. I request you to confer the degree on Tennis Boyson. Jantu Frederik Dreyer met promotor Professor Ben Herbs. Meneer de kanselier, the diagnosis of many cardiac problems depends on the analysis of magnetic resonance images. The analysis involves a time-consuming process by a cardiologist to delineate the structure of the heart. This research develops a mathematical model that integrates properties of the heart allowing automatic segmentation with minimal input from a human operator. I ask you to give the Jan to Dreyer to take Robert George Ilpner with Supervisor Professor David Davidson. Chancellor. The design of engineered products relies heavily on computer simulation, levering advances in computing technology, such as Moore's law, to build ever larger and more accurate numerical models. The candidate investigated the deployment of a numerical technique widely used in electromagnetic simulation across a variety of high-performance computing platforms. He developed an integrated framework to guide future work. I request you to confer the degree on Robert George Hildner. Michael T. 
Trevor Foxwell Owen with Supervisor Professor Dietliff Kreger. I will deliver the commendatio on behalf of the supervisor. Despite the considerable water consumption advantages, air-cooled condensers are not often used at thermal power plants due to performance issues. The steam side performance of air-cooled condensers, largely neglected in the literature, is rigorously investigated. The methods, models and results contribute towards the continual improvement of air-cooled condensers, uh, their reliability and provide a sound basis for further research on the steam side performance of these condensers. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on Michael Owen. Johannes Matthias Strauss mit Promoter Professor Martin Kamper. Meneer die kanselier, in hierdie studie stel Johannes Strauss een directe suierverplaasingsbeheer benadering voor vir lineaire vry suierstilling in die generatorstelsels. Die benadering behels intijdse oombikskrachtbeheer in middel van die elektrische generator drijf. Die studie toon dat die benadering moendlik is door een luchtkerngenerator te evalueer aan die hand van bepaalde specificaties in die optimeringsraamwerk. Versoek hier om die graad aan Johan Strauss te verleen. Thomas Stanley van den Jeffer met promoter Professor Willem Perel. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, a novel flexible nanogenerator -gener with microscopic zinc oxide nanowires as piezoelectric elements was designed. The fabrication process was optimized, increasing the device output to more than 5 volts when continuously bent. The voltage is now large enough to charge small devices such as hard pacemakers utilizing the natural movement of people. I request you to confer the degree on Stanley van Eerfer. Liesel van Dijk met promoter Professor Cornei Schutte. Meneer de Kanselier, telemedicine is a delivery of healthcare services over a distance. This study describes the development, application and validation of a maturity model for telemedicine services that addresses the need for a reference model to assess and optimize these services in a consistent, systematic and systemic way. Ek versoek u om die graad aan Liesel van Dijk te verleen. Mark Hans Volkman with Supervisor Professor Kunrat Furi. Mr. Chancellor, Mark showed that superconductor electronics could improve the square kilometer array. He experimentally demonstrated key components of a 20 gigahertz analog to digital converter capable of digitizing the entire band of interest at the feed, as well as new ultra low power logic that promises orders of magnitude better improvement to power efficiency in the back end. I request you to confer the degree on Mark Hans Volkman. Andre Young with promoter Professor David Davidson. Mr. Chancellor, future radio telescopes, such as the Square Kilometer Array, of which we've just heard, require extensive calibration to achieve their full observing potential. 
the SKA will use new methods for this. These methods require real-time measured data from the telescope, and how best to use a very limited number of measurements is the main topic of this thesis. Results have been applied to Meerkat, and as I speak, the first Meerkat antenna is being constructed in the Karoo. I request you to confer the degree on Andre Young. Meneer de kanselier, ik verzoek hier om die graad dokter en die bewijsbegeerte aan die kandidaten wat ik aan u voorstel te verleen. De betrokken promoter zal telkens een kort verklaring over die proefstof doen. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer on the candidates whom I'll present to you the degree Doctor of Philosophy. The supervisor concerned will give a brief outline of the dissertation. Marinas Barnard met promoter Professor Rob Warren. Mr. Chancellor, this dissertation investigated the utility of the line probe assay for the rapid diagnosis of tuberculosis and its associated drug susceptibilities. This study led to the establishment of the first molecular TB diagnostic laboratory in South Africa, um, with subsequent endorsement of the line probe assay by the World Health Organization. I hereby request that you confer the degree on Marinus Barnard. Piers Sudoe Fasino, Professor Patrick Bowick will deliver the commendatio on behalf of the supervisor. Mr. Chancellor, Pius Fasino examined the utility of South African herbs on the ability to interact with traditional um, drugs. Many patients combine these pres prescription drugs with traditional medicines. He investigated the effect of 15 herbs commonly used in South Africa by patients on both the enzymes and the transporters involved in drug elimination. He found that these herbs may increase blood concentrations on prescription drugs and therefore can influence not only the efficacy but induce toxicity. I hereby request you to confer the degree on Mr. Pius Fasino. Susanna Maria Hutton, with Supervisor Professor Stefan Duplessis. Mr. Chancellor, this study significantly contributed towards identifying molecular events and metabolic processes in hearts of stressed animals during ischemia, reperfusion induced injury, and preconditioning. It was established that the result that heart failure was due to insufficient glucose metabolism and altered fatty acid transport thereby leading to energy depletion. I hereby request that you confer the degree on Suzyal Hatton. Ndepewa Ludika Etete, with Supervisor Professor Wolfgang Preiser. Mr. Chancellor, infectious diseases continue to emerge, most as viruses from animals. The candidate discovered several novel viruses in South African small mammals, including one closely related to MERS coronavirus, 
currently causing an outbreak. She also found evidence of hantavirus infection in human beings locally, reinforcing the need for ongoing biological wildlife surveillance. I request you to confer the degree on Daveva Laudica Iteta. Nina Kenya Masibo, Professor Mariki Hesselman, will deliver the commendatio on behalf of the supervisor. Mr. Chancellor, the candidate investigated the effect of a school feeding program over 30 months on the nutritional status of school children in Kenya using a sustainable, community driven, and local foods based model. Compared to controls, the school feeding program showed improved growth, but no long-term effect on body composition, anemia prevalence, and vitamin A stages. I request you to confer the degree on Penina Nisibi. Wilhelm Frederick Wersthausen, Med Promoter, Professor Elizabeth Wasserman. Meneer de Kanselier, Staphylococcus aureus is a bacterie wat algemene en dikwels ernstige infecties veroorzaak. Die voorgelegde navorsing beskryf die herkomst en pathogene eigenskappe van plaaslike isolate in genetiese en phenotypiese detail. Unieke stamme, sowel as stamme wat wereldwijd verspreid is, is aangetoon. Die navorsing werd lig op die manier hoe hier die infectie ontwikkel en verspreid in ons gemeenskap. Ek versoek u om die graad aan Wilhelm Frederik Oosthuizen te verleen. Albertus Johannes Fuljun, with Supervisor Professor Ian Wiet. Mr. Chancellor, tuberculosis places a large cost on the economy and we need to know as much as possible about the disease. Albertus Fuljun studied a unique enzyme involved in glutamate metabolism in mycobacteria and showed it to be important for optimal growth intracellular. This enzyme has the potential to become a novel target for anti-tuberculosis drug design. I request that you confer the degree on Albertus Fuljun. Samuel Maburu Wanjuku, with Supervisor Professor Marnovic. Mr. Chancellor, inflammation in HIV infection can cause damage to the immune system via oxidative stress. This study demonstrated some of these effects on immune cells and certain antioxidants, such as N-acetylcysteine, were shown to limit the number of immune cells dying and therefore may be useful for patients with early HIV infection. I request you to confer the degree on Samuel Wanjiko.
Eduon Wilkinson with Supervisor Professor Susan Engelbrecht. Mr. Chancellor, using Bayesian coalescence methods and longitudinal sequence data sets, the origin of HIV-1 subtype C epidemic in South Africa was estimated. The epidemic origi originated in the 1960s, while short periods of exponential growth were observed in the 1980s and 1990s, this coinciding with an explosion of viral variants. I request you to confer the degree on Edwin Wilkinson. Eckerhart, Werner, Arthur Zollner, with Supervisor Professor Stephen Hoch. The study addresses the important and controversial topic of hypothalamus pituitary adrenal suppression in asthmatic kids receiving glucocorticoids potentially fatal complication of chronic steroid use. The study shows that this condition is by no means rare, occurring in about two out of every three kids. The study also shows that routine tests cannot confirm the diagnosis. You require specific definitive tests, like the overnight metyropone test. Finally, the study um, provides handy and clinically useful guidelines uh, to manage this condition. Uh, I therefore request that the degree be conferred on the candidate Eckhart Zollner. Meneer de kanselier, ik verzoek u om aan de dokterskandidaten, wie zijn namen ook aan u voorgelegd is, maar wat niet hier tegenwoordig is in die doktersgraden en afwezigheid te verleen. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the doctoral degrees in the absence of those candidates whose names have been presented to you, but who could not attend. Verleen die doktersgraden aan die kandidaten in afwezigheid. I confer the doctoral degrees on the candidates in their absence. Dames en heren, ons het nou al die doktersgrade toegeken. En namens die Universiteit Stellenbos wil ek graag allemaal van u, wat hier die hoogste academische kwalificaties verwerf het, Hartelijk geluk wens met die bereiking van hierdie mylpaal. Ons vertrouw dat die verbintenis wat u met die universiteit gehad het, vir die groot voordele op een persoonlijke en een loopbaan vlak sal inhou. Nou, u is van die gelukkiges wat een goeie opvoeding gekry het. And I'll switch to English because I think there's some Frenchman here. Je ne parle pas très bien. Je peux me débrouiller. You not the because the your promoter was French, was it? Okay, but well done. The part of our problem in this country is that even though we have a wonderful constitution and wonderful institutions backing that up, we don't seem to be defending them as we should. The open bar of his caramel under Gadira Gedruk, a maida 
het die ouwe manne wat hier gesit het, ons het hulle die hele tijd aangeval. We attacked them, because we, I met Steve Biko in 1973. So we were anti-establishment. The proudest moment was when uh, Minister John Forst referred to a bunch of us as slapperigte, I recall, in the, in the, in the, that was Jan Dreyer, who is now our lawyer at Rembrandt, that was probably his finest moment as the editor of the Marty, when uh, we wrote an old, the old Marty, I think there were two Anglican bishops uh, who got thrown out of the country. Now those were our days. Today, you think everything's fine. It's not fine. And I expect you to use your talents in safeguarding what those people, including Madiba, fought for. And you will promise me that you won't dump a bunch of iron ore into the ocean without parental guidance. My son is very much into this, and I once read that President Clinton had uh, founded an economic, oh, sorry, a, a scientific advisory council because people found out that they could activate the plankton by putting the right combination of iron ore. And of course, a bunch of do-gooders immediately thought, let's load a few super containers filled with iron ore until they figured out it would put us back into the ice age, correct? Yeah, something like that. Well, something like that's not good enough for me. <laughs> but your generation will have to find scientific ways to fix what we messed up. Because you're not going to change mankind and people will abuse hydrocarbons. First time I went to China, everybody had bicycles. A couple of years later, they didn't go to the moped intermediary step that India did. They went straight to cars. And we will continue to abuse the earth. And my son is one of them who says, look, you've messed it up so badly, our generation will have to find technological solutions. But in finding that, and if you really want to get humble, you've got to sit here and listen to the dissertations, and you, somebody like me hasn't got a clue about what's going on. Except I'm very proud that we are producing candidates like you. Also have a social conscience and give back to your alma mater so that others like you can get a better education. We live in this terrible world where people are basically abandoned to unemployment through a combination of inadequate, scandalous education, especially in the rural areas, and high minimum wages. Now, there's no way in which I can employ somebody and export or sell their goods or services unless I spend an inordinate amount of money to retrain them. It's not good enough. We have to Close the gap between the rich and the poor. And in my experience, the quickest way to do that is through education. You've had the benefits, so when we ask you to stay in touch with the university, it's not merely because we like talking to you, but we expect you to give a little bit back so that we can help the next generation. And look at the alumni website. Make sure that you have our, you know, that you get our emails, invitation to alumni events in Martland. We invite all of you for a glass of bubbly to toast your success here in the foyer. 
as a member of the convocation, you also have voting rights when next council members have to be elected. Use those rights. 